going, Zach? I'm going good. Well, good. First I'm time fine. here, first time on the track, first time racing. First time in this car. Wow, it's all happening. Sure is. <laughs> Yeah, good. Pretty happy with that. I've never raced on the track before, never driven the car before, so it took it a bit easy, but it, it, it beautifully handled the car. It's an amazing track too, isn't it? It's sensational. Yeah. I actually took time to make sure I got a good view. place is fantastic it's been six or seven years since I've driven here four years since I've driven a cup car and I've just gone out there and it's just beautiful I love this place and there's no geese on the track and for those of you who are watching the geese are a real problem here they sit on the apexes of the corners and you don't want to hit one because it'll do a lot of damage to your car but this track is fantastic it's fast it's flowing and it's challenging and it's just they've just resurfaced the whole the whole track so uh, we've got to see what the times shape up like I'm pretty happy with how I'm going a little bit rusty and I think I can find a fair bit of time if I drive a little bit smoother. But uh, the car's great. I'm really enjoying it, and that's what it's all about with RX8 Cup. Yeah, beautiful piece of tarmac out there. Uh, hard to take in the scenery while you're trying to go as fast as you can, but that turn one is something else, eh? Yeah. Trying to yeah. carry as much speed, and you're just sort of dancing with that wheel as such, eh? Yeah. So. Driving this weekend? No shoot, no. Um, taking on a different role, exciting role this year with the media. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, everyone's saying, oh yeah, upset not to be in the car. No, it's, it's all good. We're going to really improve things this year and um, I've got a good team behind me, a couple of people including yourself and we're going to really work hard to promote this series and the great great thing it's been for seven years. So we're just going to keep going, power on. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be an exciting year. Just learning the track, um, it did, it felt good. It's hard to, you know, work out the car setup when you're trying to learn the corners, but um, no, it felt good. I think we were P2 in practice, so, but no, overall pretty happy. Yeah, pretty good first time out at Phillip Island. Um, a lot of work to do. So the car's fantastic. It's just me I'm carrying more speed into these fast flowing corners. Tried to follow Gricey a little bit there and just get a bit of knowledge and whatnot. So I think we can gain a couple seconds in qualifying and we're looking to do probably midfield pack. So super happy. Yes, it is. So how to go in practice, mate? Oh, yeah, it was okay. Um, probably struggled a little bit with front and grip. Did you? Um, the wing helped a little bit because the, the rear was a, a little bit settled down. Over sometimes through turn one, the uh, you get to tend a little bit of oversteer out of exit. You just need to cope with it. But today there was none of that. So, but uh, yeah, just did it really. Try and get get uh get this understeer out the way because it's uh it's a little bit concerning. Shifted into a different gear, felt the gearbox jump and went, nah, so something's not right. So brought it back in and jacked it up and yeah, okay. ca caught it in time that no damage was done. I'm guessing it's rattled yeah. loose in the truck. Who was who was the crew member that needs a reprimand over that gear? I did it up with the rattle gun. It wasn't a rattle gun I usually use. Oh, it's you. I trusted it. You get, it. You get the feeling every time you come out of turn one, you go, oh, I didn't go in hard enough. I didn't go in hard yeah. enough. Yeah. So, no, I've, 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 um, I've tucked in in nice and tight a few times there, and the uh, and the camera on the corner really gives you the grip. It's awesome. Yeah, you don't realise how hard you can go into it. You've just got to really push your limits and just see how you go. I'm just talking about the types of people that are in this category. I see there's, there's youngies, but there's also, if I can say, older competitors like yourself. So, what do you think? Well, look, I think that's probably occurring because people got a stage in their life they may have had a underlying wish to go motor racing and, and in my case that was the case 
uh, had other priorities, you know, <coughs> raising kids, etc. And then you're getting to a stage where you've raised your kids mm. and uh, you've got that option of going affordable motor racing mm. and uh, suddenly you can do it. But it's interesting too though, the, the age doesn't isn't stopping people being up the front. Um, already in the first practice, you know, uh, Rick's up the front, um, Barnsley's always up the front but you know there's a bunch of us in the in the midfield having a bag of fun always get out of the car after a race and you know shaking hands and saying how much fun was that yeah need a 17 Uh, so he thought he blew up the gearbox. Um, when he had the gearbox out, checked the diff and realised it's the diff. He has a brand new diff in Melbourne. So he's run back to Melbourne now to his warehouse to get it. About an hour till quali. So I don't think he'll be back in time, but we can have him out for race one. Yeah, definitely. And like, how awesome is it to see so many different competitors working on, working on a car?